Welcome to another video from Matt's Metalworking. In this video, I'll be showing you how to restore the shine on those scratched or hazy lenses on your dial indicators. This method is much cheaper than replacing the lens, especially if there isn't a new replacement option available. These are made from plastic, therefore they can get scratched quite easily if you're not careful. I have three different examples, a couple mildly scuffed, and another with more serious scratching and staining on the center of the lens. These are quite clean to begin with, but I'd like to give them a final wipe down with a wet paper towel or soft cloth. Don't use any solvents on the lens as you may melt the plastic. Some may be chemical resistant, but this will vary between models. It's important that these are clean so we don't have any contaminants in the polishing process, which can worsen the damage of the lens. Start with the first one, using a soft cloth and some fine polishing compound. Apply it to the cloth and then work it into the surface, slowly polishing away the scratches and bringing the shine back. I'm just using a polishing compound which is typically used on your vehicle's paint. This can be easily done by hand. I wouldn't recommend using a buffer as you can risk burning the plastic. This method is quite similar to polishing headlight lenses, although there really isn't any need for wet sanding, especially since the lenses aren't very thick to begin with. Once done, here's what I'm left with. Moving on to the worst dial indicator, using the exact same method, this one took a little longer due to the damage on the lens. This method does lightly remove some of the plastic from the surface in order to bring back that shine. Don't apply too much pressure as you may risk cracking the plastic. Apply more polishing compound when needed. Depending on the compound, sometimes you may need a drop of water to help improve the workability. After a few minutes of polishing, here is what I'm left with. And finally, the third dial indicator. You can use this method on other lenses for measuring instruments as well. I have used this on a dial caliper too. Beyond the scratching, this will help remove any discoloration. This shouldn't take longer than 10 minutes for each lens. And this is what I'm left with. Now for a final polish and protection, I'm using some wax, which is the same that's used on a vehicle's paint. Use a soft, clean cloth to apply the wax, work it into the surface, and then allow it to set up. Use a clean portion of the cloth for a final buff. The wax will help resist more scratching and prevent any foreign contaminants from sticking. Over a long period of usage, it's probably a good idea to apply more wax just as a protectant to prevent any more scratching. And this is what I'm left with. Any deep scratches, unfortunately, can be a little harder to remove and I wouldn't recommend wet sanding it or overworking the surface as you can jeopardize the integrity and durability of the lens. You can see the clarity has greatly improved, discoloration, Scratching and hazing has also been removed. This concludes the rest of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below and throw a like my way. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more metalworking videos. Thank you for watching.